All right, uh, welcome to my program. Uh, today we're going to have something a little different on our uh, show in that what we have here is a model steam engine that uh, I was going to convert to a um, tester for uh, radiator vents, but I just really couldn't um, take this apart and and do that and the other thing too is it has no safety devices on the electric heater when I got this thing the electric heater uh, the element under here was burnt out and so it was um, there are no safety devices on it there's no uh, high limits um, on there the only thing it has is a uh, sight gauge there uh, which I was able to restore more or less and um, it has a pressure relief valve uh, there you remove that in order to add water and there's your little cute whistle I got a new one for it it's missing its uh, smokestack um, the uh, should be uh, probably get another coat of uh, waterproofing varnish that's the way I got it and it's made by the uh, Jensen manufacturing company in a Jeanette uh, PA and it's the model number 25 um, I had this all apart and and you know, pretty fiddly to put back together but it's a reversible engine in that if when you flip this lever it uh, changes the direction of the uh, of the uh, the flywheel there so let's um, when I plugged this in the other day once uh, it uh, got it tested it was uh, it uh, really stank up the place and remember you got to have water in this thing before you plug it in or it will burn up uh, no, no safety devices on that at all a couple of, um, of the old whistles that came with um, from, from other other units um, I purchased some uh, extra sight glasses and gaskets you can see they're very similar to the, um, the larger cousins this should be familiar to you anybody who has a steam boiler very similar um, in construction um, here's some of the uh, old parts that came off of it and new gaskets uh, they have these special screws um, the various points like here and and uh, here um, and you get this uh, oil that you can buy from Jensen to uh, add to the various uh, running points um, generally it's a good idea to use uh, distilled water and add it uh, as I said from there so this thing is uh, starting to heat up uh, I got steam flowing through the valve here from the boiler um, and the uh, whistle is starting to operate Let me shut that start building up pressure this will start to bubble as the, um, see, I got a picture of that. This is what's inside. This is the part you see. This is the part that's inside the boiler. And there's a little spring that releases the uh, excess pressure. I think it's, uh, I think this thing only runs at a couple of pounds. And um, it's still putting out an odor. Let's see if we can get some. There we are, and this thing gets a gets up to a pretty good clip. You can see the pressure relief valve working. There's a whistle, and there's a reversing lever. And you can control the speed. If 
by this throttle. I'm going to keep an eye on the sight glass. Generally, you want to unplug it. I just make sure it's got water in it at all times. And that'll run for quite a while even with the uh, unit unplugged. Um, water will continue to boil and make it run. And so there we have it. I hope you uh, were entertained and amused and perhaps we learned a few things about <laughs> operating a steam boiler. Uh, even a model model uh, model unit such as this. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe and ask any questions you like uh, down below. And uh, happy steaming.